This is a 2007 Fairline Phantom 40 and this is a boat I think is really well suited to boating in the UK for a couple or for a family. So I'm going to take you on board of this one and show you exactly what I mean. Now this is down in Torquay so it is a perfect location for a boat like this. It's for sale with one marine in Torquay in fact and, uh, and these fans are a very nice quality boat. So let's head on board and I will of course give you the full tour. So on the outside of the boat, first of all, we've got these really solid rails all the way around it. There's space for sunbathing up on the front and of course anchor winch right on the bow. And then these are the side decks that take you around the boat from either side. But we're going to head right to the back and then we'll work our way forward and we'll go into every area. So bathing platform on the back here, so you can put a small tender on there. And in fact, this little bracket here is for an outboard engine. So it's just a little lightweight thing. You can drop that into the water and that's a good little ship to shore runabout so if you're going through a dark pick up a mooring boy for example that's a great way to get ashore but when we step in through here so what we have here is a flybridge layout now what that means is we have the cockpit at the back of the boat and that's on the same level as the saloon so that all connects very nicely and with this canopy on actually it makes for a really nice almost like a conservatory here of course this canopy will roll up or you can take it off altogether and have this completely open but also you have a flybridge on here so that's up these steps we're going to look at that first and then we'll head inside and look at the interior. Now she's still in sort of winter mode at the minute so the cushions haven't been put out yet but there are of course cushions that go around here and these are covers that go over the backrest you take those off and that gives you a great seating area the table that goes in here that's what these two sockets in the floor are for barbecue underneath here and then a fridge at the front and this is quite neat because there's a seating area next to the helm but this then will drop that way so if people want to relax and chat to the guys at the helm there's seating for two here they can do and you can drive the boat from here now this gives you a really good open area on a hot sunny day it's a tremendous place to drive the boat from and of course another area on the boat when you're at anchor you can sit up here and you've got a great view out but also a nice thing about these flybridge boats is when you're maneuvering when you're coming to marinas like this you can stand up here, you've got the steering wheel under here of course and your controls and so on and you can get a really good view of exactly where you're placing the boat, what other boats are moving and even reversing and that kind of thing. You can look down through here and you can see the very back of the boat. It's a nice situation for close quarters manoeuvring. What else have we got up here? This is a, uh, a bimini top so that you take that white cover off and then that drops forward and gives you a sunshade up here. And these furs on the back, well, that's a radome, so that's for the radar. That's a TV antenna just there. This is a remote control searchlight, and that's a VHF aerial. That big fella poking up just there. Okay, let's head on down, and I'll take you through the interior. As I say, this is a great boat for a couple. You want to take a couple of guests occasionally, or for a family, and I will explain to you exactly why. So, from the cockpit here, it's one level straight in. You've got the sliding door that moves across, as you can see it is at the moment. And then this is the interior. So what you've got here is a very comfortable saloon. So you've got a nice social seating area around here. You've got this table, which will extend if you're dining, so you can make that a little bit larger if you want to. And in fact, it's also height adjustable. You can see it's on a little strut just there that adjusts. And then more seating on this side. And I'm pretty confident in saying that you can convert this to make more sleeping if you want to. So if you want to make this into a double bed, you can do, but there are two cabins for sleeping downstairs. So she'll sleep up to six. Um, but for very comfortably in two cabins. One nice thing you don't see very often is up here on the ceiling it's got this handrail built into the ceiling so if you're out at sea and it's a bit choppy you've got something to grab hold of as you move through this pretty open area just here. There's a TV and then down underneath here that's a saloon fridge so you've got your drinks to hand. And then what you have is a lower helm position. Now, of course, what this means is you head out for a day. It's a beautiful sunny day. You spend the night in Solcombe or somewhere. And the next morning you're heading home and it's a bit cold and gray. No problem. You sit down here instead of on top and you drive it from here. You've got seating for two. It's underneath these cushions here. And you've got your steering, your engine instrumentation, throttles and that kind of thing. This is your navigation screen. So charts, radar is displayed on there. And then you'll view out of the front. Now it's got a cover on at the minute, that's why it looks very slightly opaque. So that will come off. It's designed so it's a bit of light through, but it stops people looking through there easily. So with that off, of course, your view is even better. And then down from here, there's a couple of steps and you've got the galley. This I think works well because it is separate from the saloon, but it's linked to the saloon. So when you're stood here doing a bit of cooking or whatever else, you can chat to people that are here 
and you don't feel like you're cut off in the bowels of the boat but equally neither do you feel when you're sat here having a dinner of an evening that you're looking at your kitchen because it is separate down here so that again very nice setup this is an oven gas oven here and there's a hob underneath this one and that of course as i'm sure you've guessed is the sink the galley fridge is here this is quite nifty these are little pullouts to put your tea towels on they really do think of everything and cut redraw in there and of course this is all storage around here so more drawers and that kind of thing and they've even put storage underneath the floor which i think is probably the wine cellar and yet more storage is underneath there that's a really good size and also while we're in this area this is the panel that tells you all your electronics are working so things like your domestic switches for your batteries and then these are all your toilets and uh, galley fridge holding tank that kind of thing you can see that everything is powered up there also here holding tank so that's the waste water from your toilets it goes into there and that'll tell you how much is in there and that little fellow there is a control for a generator so it means that if you are away from the marina if you're at the marina you can plug in and get 240 volt power on the boat but if you're away from the marina you can still access 240 volt power just by firing up the generator okay let's head on a bit further forward now up here is the master cabin that's right up at the front of the boat in the bow there are drawers underneath the bed and there's also a hanging locker thusly and then you've got a hatch overhead so you've got plenty of ventilation in here and another way out the boat and that's got a sliding blind that goes across it's open at the minute of course throwing plenty of light into here but you can close that up for a bit more privacy or so you don't get woken up at five in the morning when the sun comes up and then around here more storage on that side and this one has its own ensuite so if we open that fellow there as you can see a very nice sized ensuite actually separate shower stall so you've got a screen that rotates around it so it keeps everything else dry your loo is in there and your sink and so on so that is just for this cabin and then what you have here is the day heads is in behind this one so that's accessible for people to nip down and use the loo they don't have to go into any cabins that's just straight off of this passageway and again you've got one of those showers with a rotating screen and the loo is in here and the sink and so on but what's neat is there's also a door into there from this cabin so at night your guests or your kids or whoever's using this cabin they've got this door and voila you're straight into the ensuite without having to go out of the cabin and what you have in here then there's a hanging locker and then two beds these are the cushions from the flybridge they've been put in here to protect them from the winter so they've not been put out yet but then no doubt will be soon now we're allowed to go boating again and um yeah two beds in here the headroom obviously drops down a bit because you've, this is the helm position up above, so it's using this space twice, but perfectly good. And you have got space at this end of the cabin where I'm stood with standing headroom, so you've got room to get changed. And then these fellas over here, these aren't lockers actually, what these are are your 240 volt distribution systems. You can see them along there. So all your circuit breakers are really easy to get to. And if you've got kids in here, then of course you can lock these and make sure that they can't get at them. Start playing with the buttons little blighters right let's head out of here and i will show you the mechanical bits which are underneath the floor so she's a conventional shaft drive and your engines are in the center so it's a very simple system and it also keeps the weight towards the center of the boat which is nice and they're accessed underneath here I'll slip my shoes back on and we will lift this hatch move that further out of the way So what we have under here actually is a pretty good storage area as you can see so you've got space for maybe a life raft or a outboard for your tender or whatever else you want to put in there deck gear that kind of thing and then the engine access is forward of that that's a little step down so we will see if we can get onto there I'll drop in and show you so what we have in here I should have put the engine room lights on but I think hopefully we can see okay these are a pair of Volvo Penta D6 370 horsepower engines now I would guess the top speed on this one's probably going to be around 30 knots but you cruise with this sort of boat typically at around 25 and again range I'm guessing a bit but they're usually around sort of 300 miles at planing speeds 
a lot more, of course, if you drop right back to displacement speeds. So um, that's pretty accessible for doing your daily checks, that kind of thing. So you can see, for example, the uh, dipstick is that red fellow just there. And in fact, what they do on these engines is they hand them. And what I mean by that is that's the dipstick on the right-hand side of the engine. On this one, they put the dipstick on the left-hand side so you can get into the center and check the oil on both. You've got um, filters at the front there, fuel cocks are up there. And as I mentioned earlier, conventional shaft drive. So you've got the gearboxes on the back and then your shafts run out. So it's just engine, gearbox, shaft, dead simple. Um, and in fact, if you're doing anything more major like servicing, then you might be able to see there's a gas strut right at the top and that's because these are actually lifting hatches. So this is access just to come and check your oil and that sort of thing before you go out. But if you've got engineers on the boat doing servicing, they get that floor up and they get down onto the engines and they can get to everything that much easier. So again, a nifty solution to, uh, to engine access. Good, let's come back out of here. A little step back down so I can step on it. And I'm going to sit here and say that that is the Fairline Phantom 40. Brilliant boat, in fact, if you live further away from the coast and you want to have something down on the coast as a floating holiday home and a boat, because it's a great boat. But also, with this layout, with a cockpit like this, and this sort of, as I say, almost a conservatory setup that folds away, and then your saloon straight through on the same level, it does make for a very, very nice apartment, which you can untie, go and have some great fun on the water. Hope you've enjoyed that one. Thanks very much for watching as ever, and we will look forward to catching you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.